You lost a soul. Oh, yeah, that's I right. used it. Okay. Fog walls usually mean a boss. Usually. But or, I a, boss or a new area. area. Or a new area. So you can go the long, uh, the short, short way, but you could probably die. Just follow this path. You're essentially making a big C with the area. So go around the sleeping enemies. The perimeter, see. exactly. What did he do? He just wake up and bite you? Yeah, he just wake up and hit you really hard. They're stone giants. You wanna ignore this guy? Dude, dude, you wanna dude, come dude, here? Get up so slowly. And summon Witch Beatrice. Uh, maybe she's hiding. I know. Come on, hurry up. Good. Run away, cause this guy might hit you. And he noticed me. So what this guy does, he casts a spell on you. Which is called Tranquil Walk of Peace. And you're, you're summoning the friend? I friend? summon her, yes. So he casts this one spell, which essentially makes me walk like this slow the entire time. But you're super powered? No. Like, once I'm in his area, uh, yeah, she just one shot at him. Oh, you mean the stone golem does that? Too? Yes. Oh, okay. He cast it early, but I wasn't in, the, in the, the range. But you walk into it? I try to walk into it, but she, uh, she had to one shot him. Alright, so this is Witch Beatrice. She's a sorcerer. Or sorceress. Moonlight Butterfly. Make sure you have a good, nice, a good shield with a good magic the, defense. The, the game was really nice to put her, like, just before the boss. That's how well, most of these things are. So, I can't hit him from here, obviously. But look at her. Just, just dealing damage. Come on, bitch! Are you invincible when you roll? Yes, you have invincibility frames. Why don't you roll? Is that a block? Because I... Sometimes it doesn't roll. So now that he's close by, I can hit him. But look how much I do. 48. Each time. Look how much she does. He takes up a chunk of the bar. When this happens, roll away. She's not smart enough to roll away. She just rolled. She can roll, she just chooses not to. Yeah. He's a mage. Yeah, that almost killed him. I don't have a very good shield for magic defense. That's it. That, you've got a soul of a, of an, uh, of a boss now. Which is random soul drop. of the butterfly. That's not a random drop. They all drop. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Not all bosses drop their soul. It's got ten thousand. So th yep. So there's a reason that one dropped one and not the other. So this one was created by one of the later bosses. Go all the way up here. Take this thing. Watch our basement key. Find Ember. Homer Bone. Homer Born is a what you call it? the teleporter back to the beginning of the bonfire area. So we got what we needed. We can go ahead and leave. Uh, and he is this right here. I could use it, and it'll go down to one. But I don't feel like buying more later on. So. There. Oh, huh, that's what it does. So now we have a soul that we can use. You can do one of two things with it. You can consume it, oh, and it gives you your flask. No, no, boss souls don't do that. With boss oh, souls, boss souls. boss souls, you can create weapons with it, which you should do. Maybe? Which you can do, but not all blacksmiths do that. Blacksmiths? There's more than one. There's four of them actually. Huh. And okay. the one we we have right here, Andre. And while he's probably, in my opinion, the best blacksmith, he doesn't upgrade boss souls. Andre of Astora upgrades regular weapons to the max level of 15. He does divine weapons and occult weapons, and then makes weapons either into raw weapons. So he does a couple of them, but he doesn't he doesn't do boss weapons. That would be the giant blacksmith. He does lightning weapons. And he does. Hey, he's trying to fight him. Yeah, but he's using magic, so he'll do good. So magic works all against that. 
No, it's just that it's not close range. Oh. This is my buddy Andre. Oh, I've seen one of those. We picked up a black uh, 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 the ember of a divine an ember earlier. Spirit. So what he wants it now because he does with divine me? weapons. I could produce divine, so divine weapons, weapons with a scale with that. a certain stat, and that is your uh, well, whatever weapon that. it is. You that is your fate stat. Decision. It scales with fate. You soon shall see. Divine. Yes. So what I want to buy from him is these TV shards right here. I need nine. Actually, I probably need eight for now, because I probably pick one up later. Go get yourself, kid. So, here we go. Now we're going to go and... I'm not gonna level up? Eh, I'm gonna keep the souls for now. I don't I don't expect to die anytime soon. But, you know, that could change. So you said before. Yes. So, what we're gonna do die. now is, we are probably gonna get invaded. There's a lot of messages on the floor. That's just people write them. Oh, do they stay there forever? They stay there until for a while. So you might see I might get invaded here. This is a very popular invade spot. It's a lot of this. Remember how Chin likes to grief people? Yes. Well, in this game, it's a lot of griefers as well. This is, not, this is a griefing spot. Yes, that is a griefing spot. Walk up slowly to this guy. Oh shit! Backstab. Try to attack. Backstabs don't do as much as parry and repose. But they have to be surprised. They have to just hit him in the back. You don't really? get any back attack. You can just walk behind them during the fight. Yep. That's, there's also a lot of backstabbing in the game. Like when you're playing PvP. Or they walk up to you and just stab you. Well, they try to. It's just with the lag and everything like that. It's just it's very easy. It doesn't to, work. It's very easy to backstab people. Oh. So what's up for you, Will? This guy's gonna want to close this gate. You parry arrows? No. You're invincible when you're doing actions like this. Oh, what is Shit. that? Hey, this is where I didn't expect to die, and I died. Where are you doing that? Where are you going to? Oh, I'm safe. He's really fast. Can you kill it? Yeah, fuck. No, I'm gonna go around him. So, see how he did a lot of extra damage there? Yes. He got a, a surprise hit on me. How? I was in the middle of an attack. Oh. So he critted me. Oh, that's not good. Does that only work against you? It works on me too. That's only if they get stunned. Yes. Alright, that boar's on the other side. I don't gotta worry about that. Pick up these alluring skulls. When you throw them, it attracts enemies. Simple, right? For a honey pot now? Yes, to get all the goo bears. Probably can't go down that way. Yep. Ooh, there's a summon sign right there. See, that was someone else playing the game. Hey, buddy. See? He's, he's back sappy. We're gonna go get the Uchi Katana right now. We're gonna try to get the Uchi Katana. What Katana? The Uchi Katana. The Katana you wanted me to play with. The best one? Yes. The best one? It, it's my favorite one. I want that. In terms of what? DPS? Uh, damage, moveset. Moveset? Yes, each weapon has a moveset. Each different Katana has a moveset? Oh my god. It's behind you, the rat. Not even gonna bother. Save and quit. Well, that'll despawn the rats. There were rats behind me, there was another skeleton behind me. Make sure you start blocking. You're basically fucked. I was gonna die. I'm just gonna start by fucking holding block. He's stuck. You kick him. Go down here. There's right here. Kick this down. Why? Because this is a shortcut. 
Well, what did kicking it do? Oh, drop this ladder? He drops the ladder. What if you just walk down? You'll fall and take damage. And then but you, you can't, can't go back, back up. up. Exactly. Okay, this is like the most popular PvP spot there. Once I go past that... A bridge? No, once I get past like this, this, this threshold right here, I can get invaded. And I might get invaded pretty quickly. But let's see, because the game also been out for a while now. People, oh, it? people not people might not be playing as often. Wow, Man. what the fuck was that? You coming at me, bro? He just teleported in your face. He did, didn't he? Next. Okay, in order for us to get the Uchi Katana, we have to kill an NPC. Specific one? Yep, a merchant. Check. Kick him when they're blocking. Are you supposed to? No. No, I mean, kill the merchant. No, you're not supposed to kill the merchant. He's a merchant, he sells you good stuff. Oh, so he's, he actually does help you? Yes. But this guy. Uh, let's talk to him. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> He's the undead merchant. To talk to him. Things are getting treacherous. Tell you a little story parts. about somebody. A horrible goat demon has moved in below, and up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. If hey, you stick around you? this place, no, it might he's telling us about three brain. bosses in the area. No. <laughs> he's so nice. He's giving good free yeah, advice. I'm not here to chit chat. We talk business, or we talk nothing at nothing all. Nothing at all. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. So we're gonna kill him. He's gonna drop us a few things, but I need to buy a few things from him. So I want to buy a bunch of these, and I'll show you why later. Boom. I don't need that. I'm pretty sure he drops that. Uh. I don't need any weapons. Bottomless from. box. Bottomless box. I don't need to. I'll pick this up later. Wait, shields have damage? Shields, that's. If you use it to attack, yes. It's not very much. Huh. Uh, I don't really need any of these. Or this armor. I'm pretty sure he drops his key. Pretty what sure. What if he does? If he doesn't, then. Thank you, kindly. Well, when I use. Where, <laughs> the door that I would open is for a magic guy. Alright, so. Let's strong attack him. You've gone mad, have you? I'll teach you. See his hand? Little MP to drop. Yulia. Little Yulia. Oh. Alright, we're we're about to pick up little Yulia. Right here. Uchi Katana. Uchi Katana is right here. Ninety damage. It's less. What is, what is that? What is that? Eighty. 80 right here? Yeah. That's a durability. So katanas are not known to be very durable. But in this game, you don't really have to worry about it. So just because it says 80 doesn't mean it's all that... Uh, 90? Just because it's lower than it doesn't mean it's all that bad. Personally, I like the moveset. It's faster. And it's also a, a poke. I like pokes. Just really like to poke a lot of things. Also, a lot of enemies are susceptible to the type of damage it does. So here's a little breakdown. We were using this one. Regular. You see, has a regular attack. Yes. This has a, a slash, which we're normally attacking, and a thrust. Some enemies are only weak to those kinds of things. Thrust. So, for example, uh, I believe it's uh, scaled enemies. Any enemies with like, uh, like plated armor. Plated armor enemies happen to be weak to bludgeon weapons. So, like. Strike weapons. I'm not sure what regular was, but enemies that are covered in flesh are susceptible, are susceptible to slash. And you see the auxiliary effects on the bottom? Box effects, yeah. So the is far left bleed? one is bleed. So this weapon causes bleed. Bleed, poison, what is that? Light and dark? Those are for your uh, divine and occult weapons. Those are oh. like other modifiers. Okay, those unique modifiers. Yes. So now we have our weapon. We're going to go upgrade that shit. So I'm also going to show you the way we were supposed to come in through Firelink Shrine.
That was a dragon, by the way. How was that? Firebomb. On the bottom of the floor. Ooh, drop something. Yeah. Go down through here. Alright, and go down here, and then make a right. There's a right down there. Kill it. We're gonna kill it, but remember. Gonna thrust it? But look, yeah, you see, it's not very useful here. The thrust. The soul. And look where we're at now. Firelink. Oh. Oh, this is the butterfly hole you told me about. That you were uh, supposed to go through. That's like the, the, the long way to go through. Oh, it's not really, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty long. Well, it's longer because there's there's a dragon that can kill you. I'm gonna uh, take the elevator now. Actually, before I take the elevator, I should show you this one area right below the elevator. Instead of taking the elevator, which is that one, go down here, and you get to pick up some some free treasure. Excuse me. Homeward bone. We got six of them there. Uh, talisman is used for your faith spells, and a catalyst is used for your sorcery spells. Cracked red eye orbs are to invade people. We're not going to be invading people. It's a, I'm not that kind of a person. I'm not an invader. Not a griefer. Uh, I'm not a griefer. I'm not, I'm not into PvP, I'm more of a PvE kind of person. Here. Hey buddy! I'm so lost, I don't even know what you're doing. I'm going back up the elevator. Yeah, circle. Yeah, essentially, I'm going back up to the elevator. We could walk off this ledge and explore more of the area, but we'll leave that for another episode. Oh, yeah, pretty yeah. Pretty ugly. You wish I was ugly. Look at my nips there. Yeah, but... Heal up. Kill him! I will this time. You missed your backslash. I don't you get back the backslash. You can't backslash these guys. Because he's big or because he has he's armor? Some enemies are just immune to it. Okay. Does stagger and bleed. A ton of, a lot of damage. Ooh, that's a great sword. And the last Titan I shard I need. You need 9 per level. Oh, 9 to max out for that specific. Specific sword. That specific- holy oh, crap, bro! Alright, so we're gonna upgrade our weapon now. We're finally gonna talk to the blacksmith. I think I'm gonna try to get it to plus six. You need souls to upgrade? You need souls, yeah. You use, use souls for everything in this uh, game. How about the shards, though? Can you use that, too. So you say you need nine shards to max it out? You need nine shards to max it out of its current class. And you'll see. Well, hello again. Is it class change? Sort of. You get to, uh, you level up to a certain amount, and then you need to modify it. I see. Which increases it, like, what, a tier? Yeah. So, you see how it goes from 90 to 99. Yep. Yeah. And you see how it goes from 9, uh, from 14 to 16. So it also increases my, uh... Bonus then? Yes, your bonus for me. So, let's go ahead. So, I mean, my it, bonus... It's actually, it's actually your... called your scaling bonus. Remember I told you it's a dex weapon? So with more dex, your scaling bonus goes up. Okay. Poof. Other than plus five. In order for me to modify it, I would need to have a specific ember. So I don't have a specific a green, ember. You mean a green titty shard? No, a green titanite shard is to make it a divine uchigatana. Which will make it scale with your faith. I'm using a dex build, remember? So, I don't have any points invested into my faith, 
So increasing okay. that kind of fate scaling would be useless for me. So you hear so that fate is another stat, like like dex. Yes, yeah, so you see on the far damage. right hand side, fate's all the way at the bottom. Yeah, I have no faith in humanity. So I'm gonna do a dex. So I leave it at my strength at 14 because that's what I need to use the uchi katana. You can tell by uh, required parameters. 14, 14, 0, 0. Let's have a seat. And now I can level up. One time. I can do some souls. I don't need to do anything now anymore. Oh, do I have souls? I need this new side and that. Oh, I do have one. Of course you do. No, I didn't use these bottom ones. Those are only worth 200. Might be enough to level up. Mm, not enough. 